How you going there, guys? So just a, a, a covering today, um, wired internet options and our Android Auto. So you can put a wired internet into our head units. Um, and the, the reason you could do like this is because if you're like using like a wireless uh, like Android Auto or CarPlay, we have a different video on like CarPlay because it's um, a wired connection for CarPlay on our like, M series, but for uh, Android Auto we do. So if you're after CarPlay, we'll put a link in the description below and you can go and check out um, the CarPlay H1 video. But for example, a wireless Android Auto or a wireless whatever. So if, if, uh, if a wireless Android Auto is hooked to the head unit, it cannot connect to a, a Wi-Fi a connection because the Wi-Fi connection has been used for the Android Auto connection. So you can't hook your uh, like head unit up to your uh, your actual Wi-Fi in your house or your Starlink. Now Starlink seems to be the uh, the, uh, the actual like, common question we're getting here. So in that case, you could put it like a SIM card in the uh, unit, and then it's going to have like data uh, when you're in range, um, and you still have your uh, sort of wireless Android Auto going. So then your uh, your uh, like, actual like, head unit is going to have like uh, internet the whole time. Um, if you're like doing some other stuff on the head unit. But if you want to get Starlink hooked into your head unit and run Android Auto, I'll sort of explain what you're going to have uh, going on. On our screen here, we have our Android Auto. So that is where Android Auto is where you'll probably spend, you know, I don't know 90% of your time. Um, and then you'll come out of that and you'll, you know, you'll come into our like, actual unit and you can pretty much treat this thing like a big like tablet. And that's what we're talking about, like giving like, actually it's like this uh, it's like unit, uh, like internet. Um, now you can put like a SIM card in it, so you can see this one has, a, has like a SIM card in it because of like a 4G uh, connection. So this actual head unit can get um, a 4G connection from like a SIM card, but if you're out of like range, that's not gonna be so good. So then people are like, well, I'll just hook this up to my Starlink. But the problem is I've got Android, uh, actually, I've got uh, Android Auto connected, and that is like working over the um, wireless system. So what you want to go and do, uh, like, so basically, is connect Android uh, uh, Auto up over like, USB. So you're just going to plug the uh, USB out the bottom into one of our like USB ports coming out of our head unit. It has to be like one of the two, or it might have to be a certain like one on the M series. It like, normally says CarPlay on here, but it actually will work in either like one because. This one here says CarPlay, and I've got it plugged into the other one, and it seems to be uh, like, actually working. But just try like both of the two uh, actually like, main USBs, um, and that is going to get Android uh, like, Auto to come up here. Um, and you can see Android Auto; that's uh, it's, like coming up. That's some a wired Android Auto connection. So if you've already had it hooked up, the first thing you actually are going to want to do is actually delete a uh, video from the Bluetooth on your on your actual phone because you don't want it trying to get confused and start wireless Android like auto. So we're gonna delete uh, the video like Bluetooth on your uh, like cell phone, if you had it already hooked up, and then you're just gonna like, plug it in and Android auto will just uh, pop up automatically. And now you've got Android auto over the uh, sort of wired connection here. And now what that's actually done is that's freed up, that's actually freed up uh, a wireless connection so we could actually come in here uh, and and open up the wireless connection and connect to like a network. So like we could go and connect to our like Starlink for whatever we want to do. We can give the internet, um, we can give the our unit our like, our like internet from that. Now the other option is if you want to keep on using a wireless Android Auto is you put an ethernet port from out of your Starlink. If you have a Starlink our like mini, it, it just comes at the bottom of it. Um, and then you go to an Ethernet to uh, so a USB adapter, and you can see up here you've got this, these two little lines and some actual arrows. That means this head unit now has an Ethernet connection to the internet. So that means we can then run wireless Android Auto and have internet on here through USB from our Starlink. So hopefully that's kind of explained it for you guys. So. Um, Good Android Auto, you want to hook it to Starlink as well. Um, probably the easiest way, and what like actually, I, and what I would do is I would just like, wired an like, Android Auto, and then I'd hook the head unit actually wirelessly to like, Starlink through your network, um, and that's going to be good. Or if you want to keep using wireless 
uh, some wireless Android Auto, well then you'll have to grab our uh, USB to Ethernet adapter and you have to run a, so like an Ethernet cable from your Starlink uh, so Mini into that. So it'll have to probably come through into the car somehow. So that's why I'm just saying it is a bit easier to do wired Android Auto and then a wireless uh, Starlink connection or, or sort of Wi-Fi connection because then you don't have to run that extra cable. Um, but we will leave that up to like you guys and it's just sort of showing you how it all works. <laughs>